Okay, I'm going to combine my April and May beauty favorites because <sighs> there's a lot going on in my life right now. Um, in case you didn't catch on the blog, my hair's being real gray today too. Um, in case you didn't catch on the blog, I am moving, my husband and I are moving to a new house. Um, it's not that far from where we currently live, but it has a yard and um, it's a little bit bigger because we're in a townhome right now. So we need a little bit more space to grow into now that we've got two boys. So, um, everything kind of behind me is boxes and bags, and that's just what you're getting for the scene right now. Um, but anyway, I wanted to combine the April and May beauty favorites because I haven't really had time to film one for April, and we're already halfway into May. So, we're just going to group all those together. If you hear rumbling in the background, that is the garage, because David is off to the park. Um, not by himself, with the sitter. So let's go ahead and get started. The two nail products that I've been loving this month, I have like almost never, do you ever see like one stray hair in the corner of your eye but like you can't ever find it with when you try and grab it? The two nail products that I've been loving this month, the like few times my nails have actually been polished because I've been packing and they've just been chipping like crazy, are Bond Aid, the pH Balancing Agent by OPI. This helps your nail polish stick a little bit better. Um, this, you put on your nails like right before you polish. So I actually did a post recently on DIY manicure uh, tips to make sure it lasts as long as possible. So refer to that if you need a little help in that at home mani department, but using a pH balancing um, liquid like this, it, it dries almost instantly. It's, it's better than using alcohol. Um, will clean off your nail bed and just prep it for the base coat to stick really, really well. So I've noticed a big difference in how long my nail polish is lasting using Bond-Aid. Um, sounds like I'm saying Band-Aid with a really bad accent. And then I grabbed Estee's Minimalistic from like the deep dark corner of my nail polish drawer. So I googled it to include a link to it in the blog post and it says it's a soft pink. Um, I see zero pink in here whatsoever but I think it's just that old. Is that bad? Yes. Um, it's a really nice, I'm wearing it on my nails if you can kind of see. It's, it's very sheer which is pretty good for my lifestyle right now because it's going to chip and I'm not going to be able to like tend to it right away. Um, but it has a nice sort of like opaque finish. So this is a great neutral, um, perhaps slightly pink if you buy it before. I guess I probably bought that in like 20, I don't know, it's been a long time. And then I carry the rest of my beauty products in this cute bag from Soul Society. It says hello on one side and then goodbye on the other. It's like a little clutch, it's nice and big. Um, but all my other beauty products I want to tell you about are in here. So, let's talk hair for a hot minute. The um, people at Kevin Murphy sent me a nice package of products to try, which I was grateful for um, because I love trying products. And a, a few readers have asked me, have you ever tried Kevin Murphy products? What do you think about it? And I hadn't. Um, the anti-gravity oil-free volumizer is awesome. I love it. So my hair routine lately, when I style it, which is about once a week, is um, I, I shower at night, and then I put a quad uplifting foam at my roots and then put this about mid shaft to ends. I squeezed like a, um, like if you grouped three peas together, that would be the amount that um, I squeeze onto the palm of my hand and then run it through my hands and put it through my hair. And it just adds a little bit of bulk. It doesn't add any weight whatsoever. So it's a nice volumizer that's maybe a little bit on the light end of the spectrum. So it's not like an enormous game changer product, but it's great for adding a bit of volume. It smells really nice. Um, and what I like about it is you can't really feel it on your hair either. So I don't mind the feeling of product at my roots because I know that's what's popping my hair up, which is what I want it to do. But mid shaft ends, if I feel a lot of product on there, ew, that feels unpleasant, especially since I'm going a few days between, between washing it. Um, and then the other shampoos and conditioners I tried, well, shampoo and conditioner I tried from Kevin Murphy are the Angel Wash. Um, I really like the packaging. This is like my favorite color, like this really light, soft purple. Um, it's for fine colored hair. The shampoo, I really like. The conditioner doesn't blow me away. But I say that because I, I don't like it because I need a super intense, buttery conditioner to get my hair to work. Um, my hair's dry. Um, it's been over-processed for many years, which is what I'm sort of getting away from. Um, 
So I'm, I'm still restoring those ends. So my go-to conditioner is always Pure Allergy Hydrate because it's super buttery and creamy. Um, this is for fine colored hair, so it's not going to be super buttery and creamy because it's not supposed to weigh your hair down. Um, so if your hair is in better condition than mine, which hopefully it is, um, or you just have finer hair or shorter hair, you might like this duo together. Like I said, the shampoo is great. I've been loving the shampoo. I'm alternating between this one and then Aquage, Aquage's Volumizing Shampoo. Um, both of those are really fantastic. But for me, the conditioner doesn't cut it, but it perhaps could for someone with not as many hair needs as I have. As far as makeup goes, the Cargo Blush in Canes. Am I saying that right? hope so. This came in the limited edition birch box. What did they call it? Um, I thought it was a Mother's Day box, but on the website they called it something else, like a um, spring something. Anyway, it was a limited edition box, and this blush from Cargo came in it, and I love it. I just did a um, like face of the day beauty look using this. It's sort of peachy hues. Um, it is it is the perfect soft, almost almost like you're not wearing blush if you're sort of my skin tone. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's it just adds such a nice warmth to your face without looking like pink blush. So if you like to wear blush but you don't like it to be super obvious, uh, this one by Cargo would be a great one to look into. These Cargo blushes are fantastic. I have um, Los Cabos that I love, love, love. So between the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes and these Cargo blushes, <sighs> I'm very happy with my blush collection. Um, the Stila Smudge, smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. I used this also in the tutorial with that blush I just talked about because these were the new products, so I wanted to do a beauty look featuring them. This is a great brown liner. Um, my initial turnoff with it was that it has a little bit of, like, not glitter, so don't, it's not glittery, but it's a little bit, sh like, shimmery, and that scared me. Um, it's not a metallic shimmer, it's like a brown liner plus shimmer, so you can see it's kind of separate. It doesn't wear shimmery at all, but that was why I initially never went for it. But a reader suggested I try it, and so I did, and I'm like, you know what? Brown liner is the junk right now. I used to be black liner all the way, but I've been going for brown liner. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of the brand Fresh, the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Super 7 Complex face cream is all-time favorite face cream. Love it. Got my sister to use it. I don't think my mom liked it. But anyway, it's fantastic. I tried the eye cream by Fresh as well. It didn't blow me away, but I tried it. Um, so the Fresh Sugar Lip, what are these called? Tinted Lip Treatments. Um, it has a 15 SPF in it. <clears throat> uh, they just came out with a new shade called Nude, and it is in fact nude. Um, it's really pretty for a nude <laughs> Ball. It's not nude in that it's like sheer, but it's nude in that it pretty much is going to look like the color of your lips. So if you need a little color, like I'm, so I'm not wearing this right now because I needed, I feel like my face is kind of lifeless right now, so I needed to put a little bit of lipstick on. And this unfortunately is the customized shade I made at the Bite Beauty Lab in New York City, so you can't buy this. Um, but well, okay, there's a similar lipstick color on the beauty look I just did featuring that Lionfish Stila Liner and the Cargo Blush. So I'll put a link to all that crap below this video. Anyway, this is a great soft nude color. Um, these are the kind of things that like I just kind of grab because I love them and I have a multitude of colors and there's always like one to three in my bag. It's a problem. It's, I'm, I'm not saying it isn't. It is a problem. Foundation. I talked about this in a post recently. Um, this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. This is in Fair Neutral. Um, I love this stuff. You can see I've hit Pam on it. I actually just bought the light shade because as we're going into summer um, and I'm outside a lot, I think I could probably go toward the light direction instead of super fair. But this is a great foundation. I love that you can use it wet. Grits. Shh, I'm filming. Um, I love that you can use it wet or dry. So what I do on days that I'm just doing super minimal makeup is I'll just dust this dry all over my face. Days that I want my makeup to be to look a little bit more um, full coverage or like I'm filming or something, I'll wet the sponge that came with it. I almost never use like the tools that come with products, but I'll wet this little sponge and um, focus on the areas that need more coverage and then dust on the rest with a big powder brush. 
the coverage is fantastic. It's totally buildable, so it's not, um, it's, I wouldn't say it's like an instant full coverage foundation, so if you like full coverage, you need to build, but it, it just wears so nicely. Like, you never get any shine. It's a matte finish. It's fantastic. I have used Max Studio Fix Powder Foundation for like my finishing powder to matte everything out after using a liquid foundation for years and years and years since I've started the blog. This has replaced the MAC Studio Fix Foundation powder foundation because it it's just great and I love that I can use it wet and dry. So it's kind of negating my need for a liquid foundation plus a powder. Um, and I like that it's in this little compact so it takes up less space in my makeup bag and the coverage is just great. It's exactly what I look for in foundation. So um, you've probably already heard about this if you read my post about it, but I'm just here to affirm you that I have continued to use it and it continues to be great. Okay, so those were my favorites for um, the month of April and about halfway through the month of May. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see any of my other beauty favorites videos, you can find those on my YouTube channel. Ritter, come here buddy. Do you want a cameo? Come here, Gretz. Oh, at the eleven. This is our quality time. Hey, buddy. Hey, pretty buddy. Oh, yeah. So good. <laughs> okay, so those are all the beauty products I have for you to talk about today. 